2021 was a landmark year for mushrooms, and in many ways, it heralded the incoming shroom boom. More and more people are looking to mushrooms for health benefits, including mental health and physical health, but also just because mushrooms are finally cool and finally getting attention by the wider media. I've had mushroom alerts sent to my inbox all year long, and this is some of the coolest stuff that I found in 2021. First, let's start with mycotechnology. There are a lot of really smart people out there doing really cool science fiction level stuff with mushrooms, using their natural properties in new and intriguing ways. Kind of like Tegan's doing right now behind me. One way that mushrooms are being used is as a meat substitute. Mushrooms are awesome for this because they have a very convincing meaty texture and can be seasoned and flavored in much of the same ways that meat can. There are thousands of recipes online for meat-based meals that can be substituted with mushrooms. But now there are lots of companies that prepackage things like jerky or pre-made mushroom patties. This kind of food technology is making the nutritional benefits of mushrooms available to more and more consumers. But it's not like 2021 was the year that mushroom meat was invented, but it does seem to have blown up all of a sudden. We got things like mushroom jerky, shroom balls, mushroom burgers, all sorts of things, and I can tell you I'm here for it. And it's not just food. Mushrooms are getting the spotlight in fashion as well. I'm not just talking about my t-shirt. This is because it is now possible to grow a convincing leather substitute from mycelium in a matter of weeks, which when you think about it is an incredibly short production time compared to the traditional ways that leather is made when it's grown from animals. Basically how this is done is by growing aerial mycelium, so mycelium that just goes straight up off a block, they chop that up and then they press it and it gets pressed into a very convincing leather substitute. This technology has been called revolutionary, and I agree, because of all the different ways that it might be able to be used outside of just fashion. We could be replacing things like car interiors, leather furniture, shoes, and more from a renewable, grown-to-order mycelial source. Again, there are a lot of companies that are doing this, but it really has seemed to have taken off in 2021. Lululemon Athletica, for example, which actually does kind of sound like a mushroom scientific name, announced in 2021 that it will be making some products using Milo, which is a mycelium-based leather. This is part of something called the Milo Consortium, which includes brands like Lululemon, but also includes Adidas, Stella McCartney, and some other brands that are planning to use Milo in the near future. But mushrooms don't stop at fashion and food, they also like to put on their hard hat. I haven't been able to find any commercial or residential constructs that have been entirely mushroom based, but there for sure has been more than one experimental structure that has been built, at least partly, from mycelium. One example that was displayed this year was the Mycospace, which was a temporary exhibition in Berlin. The space, which was designed for two, features walls that were filled with Fomis fomentarius, a really common mushroom, and it was built out in this honeycomb style pattern. Project Projects like these, although admittedly rudimentary, really demonstrates how mycelium might be used for building purposes in the future. In what is maybe the biggest news story of the year, the world record for the longest mycelium boat was finally broken by two college students. It's amazing to think that you can get a Guinness World Record just by getting more and more specific, such as a mycelium boat and the world's longest mycelium boat, but that doesn't take away from the accomplishment. This is such a fun project and I'm happy to learn that somebody stole my idea, but it's fun. It's in the name of science and I'm all for it. These brilliant young minds grew a mycelium into a canoe-shaped or boat-shaped mold and actually successfully launched it on the water. And they used reishi mushroom, which is this mushroom right here. And the reason why they were able to use reishi is because it's super tenacious it grows super well, it grows super fast, and it's super tough. So basically, they just put a mold in the shape of the boat with a substrate and then inoculated it with reishi mycelium, which eventually took over the boat and then it would harden and they could use it to float around. I don't think it actually fruited any reishi mushrooms, but it would be super cool if it did. And of course, in this boat, they paddled from Florida all the way to Japan, braving the open ocean. Just kidding, they didn't. I think they just did a little loop in a lake, but it's still really cool to see a boat entirely made up of mushroom mycelium. This story really got me thinking about all the possibilities of things that you could make with mushroom mycelium, because basically it can fit any shape that you want and it will just grow to that shape and it's pretty durable and could have all sorts of different things that you could do with it. So I've been thinking about a lot of different ideas of what we can make with mushroom mycelium, but I'd like to know what you think you can make and let me know in the comments below. Home mushroom 
mushroom growing also changed forever in 2021. That's because our friends at First Build have engineered, designed, and produced a at-home mushroom growing chamber, which is totally automated and it's kind of the first of its kind and it's super cool for home mushroom growers. This compact chamber not only looks cool, but it can also host multiple fruiting blocks and you can control the levels of humidity and the incoming amount of fresh air and create a perfect little at-home environment for growing mushrooms. We actually did a couple of videos this year showing the Mela, unboxing it and actually using it. So if you're interested in that, go ahead and check out those videos. Or if you're interested in checking out more about the Mela, look at the link in the description where you can go to their website and learn more about it. I have a feeling that there's going to be a lot more of this kind of thing in 2022 and beyond as more and more people look to grow mushrooms at home. As I said earlier, more and more people are getting interested in mushrooms. And we covered this in a separate video already, but the release of Fantastic Fungi on Netflix, which is a film all about mushrooms by Louis Schwartzberg. This incredible collection of mushroom stories, mushroom time lapses, and mushroom health topics is an easy scroll stopper when you're ripping through Netflix. It's actually unbelievable the amount of impact that this one film has had on the mushroom community. But what this documentary really did for a lot of people is take something that maybe wasn't that interesting to them just mushrooms and turned it into something that's absolutely fascinating and has really caused a lot of people to dive deeper into the world of mushrooms and continue learning about mycology. Another thing that you probably heard a lot about in 2021 but are still confused by are NFTs, which stands for non-fungible tokens. And even though fungi is in the name, it really has nothing to do with mushrooms. And if you really have no idea what NFTs are, don't worry, I don't think most people really know what they are. And as far as I can tell, it's just a really expensive way to copy and save a JPEG. But of course, with the increasing popularity of mushrooms, mushroom iconography also made its way into NFTs with things like shrooms, shroomtopia, which actually has a little picture of a mushroom that looks like Paul Stamets, which I thought was kind of funny, and something else called the Moody's mushrooms. With NFTs, it's actually really hard to tell if it's a groundbreaking technology or just an exit scam, so be careful. Mushroom foraging has also gotten exponentially more popular in 2021, which makes sense. It's a nice, easy activity that gets people outside, gets people in fresh air. And we see this a lot on platforms like TikTok where all of a sudden there are tons of mushroom foragers that are just blowing up in terms of their follower count and sharing their foraging finds with the world. And I just think it's really cool to be seeing all these people foraging for mushrooms and how it's becoming more and more of a known hobby. Even outlets like Teen Vogue are getting in on it and talking all about how hot mushroom foraging has become. Mushroom foraging is not only popular in 2021, it's also very potentially lucrative. There was a recently published story about a couple of people who found over $4,000 of chanterelle mushrooms. Chanterelle mushrooms are a common gourmet mushroom, but you cannot cultivate them, so lots of people do go out looking for them with the intention of selling them, and these people definitely hit the jackpot. The other biggest headline of the year is something I don't even really want to mention because of the old YouTube algorithm, but it involves a certain virus which most of you are probably familiar with at this point. In 2021, a study was launched to measure the effectiveness of two mushrooms in treating mild to moderate symptoms of infection. The mushrooms being investigated in the study were turkey tail and agaricon, which makes sense because both of these mushrooms are known for their immune supporting properties. The results of this study should be pretty fascinating to see because it was a real deal double blind placebo controlled study where the mushrooms were used as the active component and brown rice was used as a placebo. The results of this study are expected to be published by the end of 2022 and you can bet that I'm going to be watching for it. Taking up most of the spotlight this year are psilocybin mushrooms, which are definitely getting more attention in 2021. Not a single week goes by without another story appearing that is changing the long-term narrative and perspective on magic mushrooms. Companies involved with psilocybin mushrooms are popping up everywhere as well, with mushrooms all of a sudden becoming big business. It's like a renaissance of sorts, but this time it seems like psilocybin mushrooms might find a legitimate place for the treatment of serious mental health disorders. There was a groundbreaking study that was published this year which looked at the effect of psilocybin therapy on moderate to severe depression. Basically, they took two groups of people who were facing severe depression and gave one of those groups a macro dose of psilocybin. They gave the other group a placebo that contained just an insignificant amount of psilocybin, which wouldn't actually have any effect. 
The two groups were then sent home and given medication to take, but this time it was actually the psilocybin group that got the placebo and the non-psilocybin group that got a known medication for treatment of depression known as acetylopram, which is an SSRI. It was designed this way basically to show the difference between a single dose or single macro dose of psilocybin mushrooms versus an ongoing treatment using an SSRI. At the end of the trial, the results showed that the mushrooms were actually able to reduce the symptoms of severe depression at least as much as the SSRI. The amazing part is that the psilocybin mushrooms achieved this outcome in only two macro dose sessions with therapy, whereas the SSRI was taken daily for a period of six weeks. There is a lot of funding currently flowing into this space, and I guarantee you're going to be seeing a lot more studies just like this one in 2022 and beyond. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you've been with us through 2021, thank you so much for being here. And if you want to see a lot more cool mushroom content through 2022, we're going to be covering it all. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and go ahead and hit that like button as well. It really helps the channel so much. So thanks again. I'm Tony from FreshCap.com and we'll see you through 2022. Do you want to become a functional mushroom expert? I've got just the thing for you. It's a new ebook called Mushroom Powered, the history, the science, and the benefits of the world's most fantastic fungi. At over 130 pages, it's absolutely packed with all the information you need to know to learn about the world's most powerful medicinal mushrooms. And the best part, it's 100% free. You can download it right now. Just click the link in the description, enter your email address, and I will send it to you right away. I hope you love it.